The quality of my education has always been one of my greatest privileges. I have had the opportunity to attend high quality schools that have promoted my educational, professional, personal, and cultural growth. The picture on the left is my elementary school, one of the top private schools in Chicago. When I was attending the school, it was comprised of predominantly white students, faculty, and staff. In many of my classes, I would be one of the few black students, and of the black students, I was one of the few black girls. I was the token black girl, the sole representative of the black students, the point of reference to discuss the black experience. My teachers looked to me to act as the model student for the other black girls in my class. I was the exception. Not that I wanted to be, but because I had to be. I had internalized these pressures because I did not want my teachers to think less of me. It wasn't until I came to Spelman, I felt like I was in token black girl heaven. As seen in the picture above, I was surrounded by other like-minded women who had shared similar experiences of being the token black girls at their schools. We had all finally found our safe space, which included an appreciation of our race and our various ethnicities. We could indulge in our blackness, finally being in a space where we weren't upstaged by the color of our skin. Being at Spelman, I began to see an overload of black representation in administration, in my professors, and in my classmates. For the first time, I was genuinely proud to be a black girl, not because I had to be the best in my class or I was the best in my class, but because I was surrounded by examples of who I truly wanted to be. Money can't buy happiness, but it does make the luxuries of life a little bit more accessible. I like to consider myself blessed, being able to do the things I enjoy most, traveling the world and shopping on impulse. This picture was taken during my trip to Barcelona. I had just finished a shopping spree and I was coming from the Chanel store. I had once believed money was the answer to everything. That was until my race met my social class. During my study abroad trip, I had decided to do a little shopping and it just so happened that I was the only African American in the store. After a while, I noticed that I was being followed by every single security guard in their boutique. And at one point, the security had approached me and asked me if I was finished shopping. So I asked to speak to the manager. And when I told her what was happening, she told me they weren't used to seeing black people shop at their stores. In this moment, I realized it didn't matter that I could afford their merchandise. It only mattered that I was black. The pictures above represent both my sex and my gender. As seen on my birth certificate, my biological sex is female. As a woman, I have had my fair share of both hostile sexism, which is the negative view of women, as well as benevolent sexism, which are the positive, idealistic views of women. One of the most recent experiences I have had with hostile sexism is my own Morehouse brother telling me that I won't make a good wife because I don't enjoy washing dishes, cleaning the house, or cooking. Ultimately, he was reducing my life's purpose to how well I would serve as someone's wife. I have also encountered experiences with benevolent sexism from my own grandfather. He constantly reminds me that I should be looking for a husband who will treat me like a princess, protect me, and spend his life taking care of me. Ultimately, my grandfather is telling me that I need a man to be taken care of and to be protected. In terms of my gender, I choose to identify as being cisgender. Cisgender is a term that describes people whose gender identity and expression matches with their assigned sex. I chose to use the picture that show gender conforming objects, such as my pink high heels, my sparkly purse, and all my favorite lipsticks. Choosing to identify as cisgender, a gender conforming identity, has been a great privilege for me. I can freely express myself through my clothing choices without the fear of backlash. My femininity and identity is never called into question. I've never been asked when I chose to be gender conforming either.